Welcome to Pioneer's Knowledge Hub. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is a sudden shaking or trembling of the Earth's surface caused by the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's crust. These movements release energy in the form of seismic waves, which propagate through the Earth and cause ground shaking. Earthquakes vary in intensity and can range from minor tremors to catastrophic events causing widespread destruction. Causes of Earthquakes Earthquakes are primarily caused by the movement of tectonic plates, which make up the Earth's crust. The movement of these plates is driven by the heat generated from radioactive decay in the Earth's interior. There are several specific processes and interactions that lead to earthquakes. Plate tectonics. The Earth's lithosphere is divided into several large and smaller tectonic plates that float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere below. These plates interact at their boundaries, and the stress generated by their movement can cause earthquakes. The major types of plate boundaries where earthquakes occur are Convergent boundaries. At convergent boundaries, tectonic plates move toward each other. Subduction zones, where one plate is forced beneath another, are common locations for powerful earthquakes. The stress builds up as the subducting plate is pushed deeper into the Earth's mantle until it is released suddenly in the form of an earthquake. Divergent boundaries. At divergent boundaries, tectonic plates move away from each other, creating gaps. This movement can lead to the formation of mid-ocean ridges and rift valleys. The separation of plates can cause stress and earthquakes, although they are generally less intense than those at convergent boundaries. Transform boundaries. At transform boundaries, tectonic plates slide past each other horizontally. The friction between these plates prevents smooth movement, leading to stress accumulation. When the stress is released, it triggers earthquakes. The San Andreas Fault in California is a well-known transform boundary. Faults. Faults are fractures in the Earth's crust along which movement has occurred. These movements can be sudden and release energy in the form of seismic waves, causing an earthquake. The point where the earthquake originates within the Earth is called the focus or hypocenter, and the point directly above it on the Earth's surface is called the epicenter. Stress accumulation and release. As tectonic plates interact, stress builds up at faults and other zones of weakness. This stress can accumulate over long periods of time until it exceeds the strength of the rocks, at which point it is released suddenly, generating seismic waves that propagate through the Earth. This release of stress is what causes the ground to shake during an earthquake. Human activities. While natural tectonic processes are the main cause of earthquakes, human activities such as mining, reservoir-induced seismicity, due to the filling of large reservoirs behind dams, and hydraulic fracturing, fracking, for oil and gas extraction can also induce earthquakes. These induced earthquakes are typically of lower magnitude than natural ones but can still pose risks in certain areas. In summary, earthquakes are primarily caused by the movement of tectonic plates and the stress that accumulates at their boundaries and faults. This stress is released suddenly generating seismic waves that result in ground shaking and other seismic effects. Behavior of Earthquakes The behavior of earthquakes refers to the various phenomena and patterns associated with seismic events, including their occurrence, magnitude, intensity, and effects on the Earth's crust. Understanding earthquake behavior is essential for predicting and mitigating their impact on human populations and infrastructure. Here are some key aspects of earthquake behavior. Occurrence Earthquakes are caused by the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's crust. They primarily occur at or near plate boundaries, where stress builds up due to the friction between plates. The release of accumulated stress leads to sudden movements along faults, resulting in seismic waves and ground shaking. Epicenter and Hypocenter The point on the Earth's surface directly above the earthquake's origin is called the epicenter. The actual point within the Earth where the earthquake originates is known as the hypocenter or focus. The depth of the hypocenter influences the severity of ground shaking and the potential for damage. Seismic waves. When an earthquake occurs, it generates seismic waves that travel through the Earth. There are three main types of seismic waves. P waves, primary or compressional waves, S waves, secondary or shear waves, and surface waves. P waves are the fastest and arrive first followed by S-waves, which cause more intense shaking. 
Surface waves travel along the Earth's surface and can cause significant damage. Magnitude and intensity. The magnitude of an earthquake is a measure of the total energy released during the event, as quantified by the Richter scale or moment magnitude scale, MW. Earthquakes are categorized as minor, light, moderate, strong, major, great, or exceptional based on their magnitude. Intensity, on the other hand, refers to the level of shaking experienced at a particular location and is often described using the modified Mercalli intensity, MMI, scale. Aftershocks. After the main shock of an earthquake, smaller seismic events known as aftershocks can follow. These aftershocks can continue for days, weeks, or even months after the initial earthquake. They can cause further damage to structures weakened by the main shock and complicate emergency response efforts. Faulting and surface rupture. Earthquakes occur along faults, which are fractures in the Earth's crust where movement has occurred. The sudden movement along faults can lead to surface rupture, where the ground breaks along the fault line. Surface rupture can cause visible displacement of the land, such as offset roads, fences, and geological features. Seismic hazards. In addition to ground shaking, earthquakes can trigger other hazards, such as landslides, tsunamis, in coastal regions, liquefaction, when saturated soil temporarily behaves like a liquid, and ground ruptures. These secondary effects can exacerbate the damage caused by the initial seismic event. Plate tectonics. Earthquake behavior is closely linked to the movement of tectonic plates. Different types of plate boundaries, convergent, divergent, and transform, lead to various styles of earthquakes, such as subduction zone earthquakes, rift zone earthquakes, and transform fault earthquakes. In conclusion, earthquake behavior encompasses a wide range of factors, from the origin and propagation of seismic waves to the resulting damage and secondary effects. Understanding these behaviors is fundamental to earthquake preparedness, hazard assessment, and disaster response strategies. Advantages of Earthquakes Geothermal Energy Generation Earthquakes can release geothermal energy from the Earth's interior. This heat can be harnessed to generate electricity or provide direct heating, especially in regions with active tectonic activity. Formation of landscapes. Earthquakes are responsible for creating various landforms such as mountains, valleys, and fault lines. Over time, these geological features contribute to the Earth's diverse and dynamic landscape. Disadvantages of earthquakes. Destruction of infrastructure. Earthquakes can cause extensive damage to buildings, bridges, roads, and other critical infrastructure. This can disrupt daily life, lead to economic losses, and require significant resources for rebuilding. Loss of life and injuries. One of the most devastating consequences of earthquakes is the loss of human life and injuries. Buildings collapsing, landslides, and other secondary effects can result in casualties, especially in densely populated areas. Tsunamis. Underwater earthquakes, particularly those occurring along subduction zones, can trigger tsunamis, giant ocean waves. These waves can inundate coastal areas, causing massive destruction and loss of life. Landslides and avalanches. Earthquakes in mountainous regions can trigger landslides and avalanches, leading to further destruction and hazards. The loosening of soil and rock on steep slopes can cause these events to occur more easily. Infrastructure failures. In addition to direct structural damage, Earthquakes can disrupt utility services such as water, electricity, and gas. These disruptions can impede emergency response efforts and make recovery more challenging. Economic impact. The costs associated with earthquake damage, including infrastructure repair, rebuilding, and economic losses due to disrupted businesses and trade, can be substantial and have long-lasting effects on affected regions. Please do like share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.